I just want to take a couple of minutes to exhort you uh, this morning from the Word. Uh, and that is a large portion God gave me. So I'm just going to uh, take a couple of verses and, and minister from that. Not even minister, just exhort you. This is in Matthew chapter 25. You don't even have to open your Bible, just listen. Matthew chapter 25, verse 40, and then um, verse 44. 40 and 44. The king will reply, I tell you the truth. Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. They will also answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or needing clothes or sick or in prison and did not help you? My dear brothers and sisters, when we are in the presence of God, when we work and when we live and when we move in the presence of God, we wonder what, what, what we ought to do for the Lord. Is coming to church on a Sunday morning and worshiping God and having the fellowship of the people, is that the end of it all? Is that the beginning and is that the end? And the Lord wants to exhort you this morning. The Spirit of God wants to exhort you this morning. We need to go out into the world and minister to some needy folk. Yes. We need to come to church and we need to absorb the anointing of the Lord and the Spirit of God into our being, every nook and corner of our being. And then we ought to go out and minister to the people out there. Amen. See, here, here's the thing, what the pastor uh, spoke about this morning, that going out and ministering and speaking to some of those people out of the universities and colleges and in the schools, our, our, our goal in life should be to go out in, and, and testify. Yes. It, it, yes, we do come together, we need church and we come yes. together and yes. we gain the strength yes. from the Lord and from each other Amen. and then we go out and minister. Amen. Amen. See, the righteous people ask the Lord in this particular portion, and you can go home and read, they ask, Lord, we did not see you. When did we see you, Lord, as hungry or thirsty or needing clothes or when, when were you in prison, Lord? We don't remember seeing you like any of those things, Lord. And the Lord said, when you did uh, those things, uh, when you clothed that person without clothes on, when you gave food to that person without food, uh, when you gave something to the person that was lacking, that something that was lacking in their life, you did that for me. Amen. Amen. You see, we, we think that our ministry is just within the Malayalis. Because we are Malayalis and we live like Malayalis and we uh, we associate with Malayalis, we come to church with Malayalis. Yes, Malayali culture and all those things are wonderful. But God has placed you in the city of Houston so that you can minister to the people in this city. And the people in the city are not just Malayalis, they are uh, African Americans, they're Caucasians, they're Hispanics, there's a huge amount of... Hispanics in this city. Yeah. We must minister. And I'm not talking about taking this Bible and just breathing down heaven hellfire upon them. I am talking about taking a couple of dollars out of pocket and just giving them someone who is in need. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And, and our success does not depend on how many people you bring into this church and place them in these pews. That's not our success. At least that's what God is placing in my heart. Yes. Our success is this. When God looks at us and God brings about a person to our, to, to our presence and into our midst, God is looking to see, are you going to help that person? Amen. It may be a smile that you can put on that person. It may be a, a, a burger that you can give to that person. It may be uh, your jacket. It may be whatever that it is. Are you helping that person that God brought into your midst? And they will then hear that. They will see that and they will go out somewhere. And they will say, you know what? There was such a love that I saw in that person. I wonder what that love is. I wonder why in the world that person gave me that money. Oh, I wonder why in the world that person just smiled at me. I wonder why in the world that person came to me and said hello. And then they will go search in their hearts. Uh, and the Spirit of God will bring the Word of God into their hearts. Uh, and bring them into a church uh, that may not look like this. That may not act like this. But it will take, take that person into a Full gospel church. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And one day you will be standing with them in heaven. 
You may not recognize. You will also say, Lord, I did not see this person needing anything in their lives. But the Lord will say, Come, righteous and faithful servant. Yes, you did not do it for yourself, but you did it for me. Come, join the joy of the Lord. We must go out and minister. My dear brothers and sisters, if you know English or if you don't know English, it doesn't matter. Just go out and just say hello to somebody and just bless somebody. Amen. That's what God wants you to do. That is the reason God is filling this place with the supernatural anointing of God. There is an awesome presence in this place. There is. Soak it up. Go out. And help somebody. Just help somebody. Help somebody. Thank you for this time. Thank you for this time. May God bless you. Thank you.